my life in 2018. So my life in 2018 was a bit of a roller coaster, as it sometimes tends to be. But this year was definitely the most chaotic, stressful, panicky year of my life. But not only that, it was one of the best years I've had in my life. So as you know, I got my first ever boyfriend. Sounds like an achievement. Achievement unlocked. Got my first ever boyfriend. And he's amazing and I appreciate him and I love him so much. So if you're watching this, hi Jared. I love you. And you mean the world to me, even if I don't tell you enough. Throughout this year, friendships have been made a lot closer. And I've been forever thankful for those friends. I'm not going to shout them out because they know who they are. Some of these friends, three in particular, you know who you are, have helped me through thick and thin, through my highs and lows, and even when I was at my lowest. And I do want to say thank you for that. On top of having amazing friends and closer friendships with some of them, I also gained a brother this year. And I don't mean like blood type, blood relations, I mean... I call him my brother because he is. He's helped me a lot this year, not only with some mental stuff, but with finding out who I am and accepting different things. And he's just, sorry, he's just helped me overall. And I really appreciate you, brother. Thank you. This isn't going to be an appreciation video because that's not what my year was. My year wasn't all of these highs. As you know, this year I got diagnosed, which I hate the word, but I got diagnosed with anxiety and depression. Now, the person who diagnosed me was my therapist at the time, and she said it was, she said it was to do with scenarios that can push me to my brain, which hence gave me depression and anxiety. I say I always have an underlining of it, but different scenarios make it worse. So yeah, some scenarios had happened to me in the past where it made me feel like I shouldn't have been around in life anymore. But I have good friends and family and I had a great therapist who helped me to get through these things and that was okay too. This year, has been a lot of doors closing. So by that I mean, I stopped doing dance this year. I had been doing dance for about 13 years and I stopped at the beginning of this year. And there was a big chapter in my life that I had finally ended. Another big chapter in my life was St. John Cadets. I had graduated St. John Cadets. I'd been there for four years and I had taught the juniors for three and a half years and I've always been a leader I was never a cadet for longer than I think a month so having to leave that team and that family behind quite frank it, it hurt because there was a lot of things that had happened to me and it just didn't make it easier Yeah, <laughs> I went on a national camp where I represented South Australia. I didn't represent anything in particular, but I was there as a representative for South Australia for St. John's like first aid competitions. I wasn't competing, I was just a helper. And that's where I met my boyfriend. Well, that's where we kind of reconnected. There was a lot of heartache on that trip, but I have some really great friends because of it. And it's a memory that I won't hopefully forget. Throughout this year, I've learned more about myself and the things I love and enjoy. I've learned that it's okay to come out as bisexual. Maybe not to my family, but to friends and to people that I'm very close with. So my boyfriend my brother, my two best girlfriends, and my other friend. They're the only ones I've come out to. And I haven't kept it a secret, 
but it wasn't exactly something I wanted to shout from the rooftops either. You know, I learned that I wanted to dye my hair and I got to do that. I, I became an adult this year. I learned what it means to have someone who isn't a family member to love you and appreciate you and just be there for you. I also learned what it means to have a best friend. A best guy friend too. I've never had one of those in my life. I've never had a best guy friend. And I have been friends with two of these girls. One girl, I've been friends with her for 13 years. And my other friend, I've been friends with her for about 10 years. This year coming, which is 2019, we would have been friends for 10 years officially. And we're still great close friends. And I'm so thankful to have them in my life. And just everything about them, I'm entirely grateful for. We've been catching up so much more than this, this year than we ever had. And that's been really great and I appreciate it. My YouTube has been all over the place. I'm experimented from having three channels to now one channel to uploading three times a week to four times a week to adding in more vloggy stuff on the weekends to, you know, different things. I've been doing more collabs with Mary, who I hadn't done a collab with in a year, which was ridiculous. I'm trying to try and experiment new different things this year and the results have been quite well, in my personal opinion. This year has just been an amazing year, full of a lot of highs and a lot of lows. I graduated high school and I, well I graduated high school, I passed. I didn't get my first preference of uni choices, but that's okay because more still need to come out. And hopefully by the time that January is finished, I will know if I got into uni or not. And I've worked my first ever job this year. I work at Adelaide Oval. And it's been such a cool experience having money, which sounds so ridiculous, but having money on my own so I can spend it on my friends and, you know, be able to pay for their lunch or just buy them a treat or things like that. I got my first ever puppy and I cried my eyes out when I had when I got her, as you saw in the puppy vlog. And she's the most amazing thing in my life. And I appreciate her with all my love. So many things have happened this year. Not even there are some things that I don't even remember. But I know that I have loved every moment of this year, no matter the lows that I went through, no matter all the downs I had. And 2018 was the shittest year of my life, but it was also one of the best years of my life. And I definitely have to thank you guys as well. You guys have been such a huge, huge help throughout this year with everything you do, with all of your support this year. with just with all everything, all the experiments I've been trying and I had a goal for, set for 2018 which was to improve my mental health. I'm not going to say that that happened but I'm going to say that it did get better. I went through a lot of things that I never th went through before. You know, I had gone through a lot of obstacles and courses and different things with my mental health but I think at the end of the day it is better it is a little bit stronger and that's all I can hope for now for 2019 what are my goals for 2019 my goals for 2019 are as simple as two things number one work on my physical health I know I've said this before but I want to get a little bit stronger and number two I just want to be happy. If I can just keep being happy, then I'm going to have a pretty good year. There's some minor little things, of course, that I can go through about 2019 that I would like to do. Like get into university, 
live that out for the year. <coughs> oh, sorry. You know, I want to be able to give blood again. I want to maybe even get a tattoo. I don't know. We'll see. But I know one thing for sure. I want to be able to be just keep being happy this year. Keep connecting with my friends. And keep finding out who I am. And what I want as a person. Because I've always pushed aside my wants and needs. So from 2018 to 2019... This is the year where we figure out what I want. Not what anyone else wants. This is what I want. I want to be fitter and stronger. I want to feel like I look good. And I just want to start doing stuff for me. And that's all I want to say. So that has been my life in 2018. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And tell me your life in 2018. Now all I gotta say is that this year is a wrap.